Hello everybody and welcome back to another YouTube tutorial here for DST. Today we're going to be taking a look at character swapping. Now this is a feature that has been added to DST for a while. It's somewhat of a hidden feature and I want to let you guys know about it. So first off you're going to need to find what's called a suspicious boulder here. Now the suspicious boulder has a chance to fall during a meteor shower and for each day that progresses up to day 60 you have an increasing chance of the boulder fall falling. Uh, if at day 60 you still have not received your suspicious boulder in your world, then you are pretty much 100% guaranteed to receive it at that point. When you mine it, you will receive a rock, a flint, three moon rocks, and then you'll have an additional 30% chance uh, to get uh, a few extra materials. You will also receive what's called the Celestial Orb. Now, the Celestial Orb is a unique crafting tab structure that you can move around. Uh, it opens up the celestial tab on your crafting list and has two specific recipes. The first recipe is going to be a Moonrock Idol and the second recipe is going to be what's called a Portal Paraphernalia. Now the Portal, pa portal Paraphernalia is the important part here because that's what we're gonna use to upgrade our Florid Postern and be able to switch characters. Now, the Celestial Orb is similar to Chester's Eyebone in that it will drop out of your inventory if you happen to log off of the server or enter the caves at any point. Uh, it will just be left out on the ground just like the Eyebone does. Okay, so what we're going to do next here is, as you guys can see, I have already obtained my Suspicious Boulder in this world. Um... And here in just a second, I'm going to go over and mine it and show you guys exactly kind of how this process works from start to finish. So as you can see, Suspicious Boulder, this is what you're looking for. Uh, now, if you do come across it and you're walking by it and you may not notice it, if you look at it here on the map, it looks like just any other Moonrock Boulder that has fallen from the sky. So be aware, you do need to confirm it in person. But just take your pickaxe, chip it open like that. As you can see, you get the drops from it, and then you get the actual celestial orb itself. Now, um, as you can see here, I'm going to show off the actual celestial crafting tab uh, by turning off my uh, craft all from my mod. Uh, but you can see the portal, portal paraphernalia and the moonrock idol are both craftable. And this is only when you're standing next to the orb and it's hanging in the air like that. Now, as you can see, I have cut away to being back at my portal paraphernalia. I've turned my mods back on and I am going to upgrade the portal here. So as I'm shifting through my tabs, you can see portal paraphernalia is a board and a rope. Fairly easy to get gather. And then I am going to go ahead and craft a uh, moon idol, which is a moon rock and a purple gem. Little, might be a little expensive for new players at the beginning of the game, but it is worth it if you want to switch characters. <clears throat> so, the next thing that you do is once you've crafted the portal paraphernalia is you mouse over the floor uh, postern like that and just apply to build. Now, as you can see, the postern changes a little bit, showing that the process has started. And it shows you a secondary build window where you need a purple moon lens and 20 moon rocks. Now the 20 moon rocks is always the hardest for me to gather in the beginning of the game. But once you get there, uh, it makes for a wonderful addition to your capabilities. Especially if you're playing alone like I do. So going ahead and use my mod, throw the items in my inventory so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, but the first thing you do is you take your purple gem, you mouse over your crater moon rock to create the purple moon lens. You open up the secondary build window, you add in the purple moon lens, you add in your moon rocks, and then from there it's simply just clicking the build button. Now once you've done that there'll be a short animation here as you can see as the portal upgrades itself and you now have access to the celestial portal which is the upgrade. Now. Once you have that, you see that the Moonrock Idol is actually glowing in my inventory here. If I place it down on the ground, the purple gem lights up. If I pick it back up and I walk away and place it down, the purple gem is no longer lit up. That shows that the power of the portal is working. Now, going back over here, um, 
basically anytime you're ready to switch characters you just mouse over the portal like you did with the, par the portal paraphernalia you click offer you will go through a short animation and then the game will kick you back to the character select screen now i'm just going to click random here to you know apply whatever character uh it decides to give me and we'll see what we start with so the game gave me Wilson with a random attire here, and that is basically how you switch characters. Now, there is a few more things to this video. I want to show you guys a uh, added trick that I found to use with the Celestial Orb itself. One thing I do if I want to track my wormholes and figure out which ones are connected without hopping back and forth too much, sacrificing my sanity, uh, as I go to the first wormhole that I want to test, and as you can see there from the overworld map, that the celestial orb itself shows up on the map itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wave to my celestial orb, I'm going to give it to the wormhole, and then I'm going to open my map up. And as you can see on the right side of the screen there, the celestial orb has popped up in the connecting wormhole. So I now know, as I just moused over, if I go in the wormhole where I'm at, I will pop up on the right side of the world there. Now you can either follow it through or you can manually walk over there. Either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, you just need to retrieve your, uh, your celestial orb and you can do that for all of them. So thank you guys for hanging out, watching the video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, ring the bell, and leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks again.